Washington, D.C. with Dave Pierce, head enologist with Grove Mill Winery from Marlborough in New Zealand. Welcome to Washington, Dave. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to meet you and I'm looking forward to tasting your wines. One of the things I was interested in talking to you about is your winery's uh, environmental record with sure. sustainable wine growing and as yep. the first winery in the world, I believe, that had a carbon neutral. zero, carbon yep. neutral carbon certification. Neutral carbon zero. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, carbon neutrality uh, for us comes under the carbon zero logo or program. Uh, carbon zero is, uh, you could say, synonymous with carbon. So it's there on the foil underneath the screw cap. Yep, and also on the back, um, and accessible from websites anywhere, and you know, everything's public on it. It's part of the protocols. What does it mean for a winery to be carbon neutral? Um, carbon neutrality means for us under this program that we measure our carbon footprint. We sign up to reduce that carbon footprint, and that's one of the most important facets. What's left, and there's always something left, and you can't get away from that because I mean, it includes the car embodied carbon in that bottle, and I can't do much about that. Mm -hmm. um, so what's left is the mitigated. Mitigation means we actually have to purchase carbon credits to get rid of the bit that's left. As you can imagine, we don't want to have to do any more of that than we have to. Well, <laughs> sure. What was the hardest adjustment you had to make to get the carbon neutral? Uh, it's it's not one thing, it's a mindset. It's a mind the carbon neutrality involves you actually doing the measurement of, of your greenhouse gases, not just carbon, it's greenhouse gases. Um, and so it's a mindset shift from using money as a measure of good to using carbon as a measure of good. So you do your, uh, your footprint, your carbon footprint, although as, as I say it's not just carbon, it includes things like nitrogen, methane, uh, etc. And then you look at that and you say to yourself, wow, first of all you say, wow, I never would have guessed. That's the very first thing you're going to say if you go to the website and have a look. That's the first thing you're going to say, I never would have guessed. That's where it would have been calculated. And having done that, that acts like a mirror. You then look at it and say, what am I going to do about, and you aim for the biggest shots. So as always, you go for the big ones first. What am I going to do about that? What am I going to do about that? And you sign up, you do a program, an annual program, and you sign up for whatever it is that you're going to have a go at reducing that carbon footprint on and the way you're going to do it. What was the biggest change in the way the winery operates? Uh, again, there's no one. I mean, we, we've made adjustments in international freight. We changed our package to get more into a container. More in a container means fewer containers with the same amount of product. Code. Lighter bottles? We've changed to lighter bottles. We're actually doing work with the RAP project in the UK as well to actually go and look at bottles that may go down to as low as 350 grams. Mm -hmm. Now that's technology that isn't widely available in the world. What is a standard wine bottle for people who don't usually weigh their empty bottles? There's no standard, but I tell you what, they, they go up to a kilo and probably, I'm not sure, maybe 550, 600, 650. Wow. So, by more than half? You're talking about oh, if you went down to the 350 that the RAP project did, I mean, you could be down as low as almost a third. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely, it's a big deal. Absolutely. And, and the carbon footprint of a bottle is pretty much the weight of the glass. Now I can see a skeptic saying, okay, well that's well and good, protecting the planet and everything, but what does this do for the taste of the wine? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, other than the usual um, responsibility of care, if, if you're trying to do a lot of things right, ultimately good things happen to people who do good things. And, uh, the, the year we went carbon neutral, we actually won a trophy for top seven in Blanc in the world and top reason in the world. That had nothing to do with it. Right. But good things happen to people. Well, my answer to the skeptic would be <laughs> there, is, are, there are a lot of good wines out there. Find yes, one you like, and if uh, the choice comes down to two, and you can choose from a responsible one that's doing something to protect the environment, absolutely. that's worth putting it on the list. Absolutely. And that's and the worth other influencing thing. our marketing choices. Our absolutely. Choices. And, and because of that, because we wanted to actually implement market change, we didn't ask the premium for it. There's no, there's, there's no transfer of cost on. Whatever the cost is, is our cost. Because our view was that this should be the way everybody operates, therefore it should actually be a flat button for it. Well, good. Drink wine, protect the planet. Cheers. Cheers.